Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Mr. Nishwada Binti Musa, a postgraduate student from University of Malaysia. Factors influencing work engagement among cancer survivors in Malaysia. So here is the outline that I'm going to share with you. And looking at the figures here, both figures shows that a new cases reported uh, every single year from year to year in a world view in a worldwide view and also in a Malaysia perspective. There are 18.1 million new cases reported uh, in a global, new global cancer data at 2018 and from the Malaysia, from the Malaysia National Cancer Registry uh, from 2017 and 2016, they are growing number from year to year. So we know that cancer is a major morbidity and mortality concern in worldwide and also in Malaysia because cancer imposes tremendous economic burden on the patients, on the family and also and the society. Cancer also affects the psychosocial, uh, especially in terms of the work-related issues. And employment is important for individuals, well-being, especially for cancer because it is needed for economic stability, for socializing and for the self-development, for them to keep uh, the return to work, the transition return to work is smooth. The improvement in early detection and effective treatments of cancer have led to a high survival rate and it is increasing in Malaysia as well. So there are 72,884 people that have been identified as cancer survivors by National Cancer Registry. Uh, the improvement in detection and effective treatments um, has led to growing and mushrooming numbers of study in terms of, uh, the, in terms of the clinical and also in terms of the quality of life, a social part for cancer survivors. Um, the overall the succeed in treatment not only to ensure care for cancer survivors, also to ensure that normal uh, to ensure cancer survivors have a normal growth and um, bouncing back to normal key in terms of the development in the future, so that they can um, realize their full potential and uh, live a healthy people uh, so they can focus more on developing their future needs. The increasing number in workforce warrant immediate intervention by organization and the practitioner especially uh, to boost the work engagement of cancer survivors, employed cancer survivors. So uh, initial research on cancer survivors explored the cancer treatment related but more recently, uh, cancer survivorship has begun to consider the cancer, the cancer survivors as a person, to looking at the quality of life. But uh, many study focus on work limitation of cancer survivors. Unfortunately, this uh, kind of research focus might spark a mixed conception of employers a misconception of the society, a misconception of the, 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 the whole organization towards the cancer survivors' ability to perform at the workplace as well as it will cast negative perception uh, of the impact of cancer treatment because we know that given that cancer uh, is a life-threatening, it affect the cognitive, it affect the physical and effective of cancer survivors. So it, it also affects their working life. And um, this could potentially detrimental to the smooth transition of cancer survivors from the survival, uh, from, from the period of survive into the work participation. So they were also reported in a study such as decrease in employment quality among cancer survivors, 
such as decrease in job satisfaction, increasing in turn over intention, increased absenteeism, decreased job performance as well as commitment. So, uh, extensive research has been done on work engagement across various sectors. But to date, not many studies have been conducted on work engagement of cancer survivors, especially in Malaysia. So, the question um, here, are they less engaged at work? Um, why I choose work engagement to be, to be to studied uh, among the cancer survivors because engage employee usually perform better than others. They are more focused in their work role. Engaged employee also often to going extra miles. Thus, it is important for practitioners uh, and employer to recognize and to identify what are the factors that will contribute, that will influence, that will boost the work engagement among employed cancer survivors. So, uh, I, sorry. So, um, I'm looking at the individual factors and also the work-related factors. I choose the resilient employees because a resilient employee will exhibit the positive emotions and quick in adapting the adversity. We know that from the time they are diagnosed and until they are finished the treatment, until they survive, they face a measure adversity. They face the the challenges during during that time. So the resilient are higher from then and I want to look at uh, the, the resilient factors is play a role in determining the work engagement among cancer survivors. And also the social support from the colleague and supervisor and quality of working life will foster the work engagement. Are cancer survivors less engaged at work? Okay, so this question has led to the research gap that this study hopes to fill by investigating the levels and uh, the antecedent of work engagement among cancer survivors. So here are my summary of research objective, research question hypothesis. First objective is to determine the relationship between resilience and work engagement, which represent the individual factors and um, also represent my hypothesis one and supported by many study but here I present to you Malik and Gak and Dai at all. Okay, Malik says that this stated that resilient employee are coping a better and adapt to adversity such as stress at workplace. And Dai at all stated that Resilient employee diminish their intention to leave and enhance their engagement. A second objective is to determine the workplace social support and uh, work engagement, represent my hypothesis number two. So uh, the literature from Kima and Nasruddin both highlighted the important social factors uh, social support factors uh, to influence work engagement. And uh, hypothesis number three represent my objective three to determine the work, uh, quality of working life towards the work engagement. And a study from Tascano and Galden He um, deem important role of quality of working life in boosting the work engagement. All the hypotheses will be analyzed using the Past analysis, the past analysis use structural equation model. So the, for the methodology, a cross-sectional study and quantitative study was conducted uh, among two, 270 cancer survivors in Malaysia. So the population is 1,192 eligible cancer that registered from Hospital Kuala Lumpur, HKL, uh, with a G power analysis. Uh, and the sample size for this study estimated a minimum sample size 85 
respondent, but I managed to get 270 cancer survivors within a year. So, uh, using the purposive sampling. Here is my instrument uh, to measure the work engagement using West, Shoffley, Employee Resilient, Noswal, QWL from the Jong and social support from Smith. Social support, I'm looking at supervisor and co worker support. Here are the research framework resilient workplace social support and quality of working life towards the work engagement. For the findings, okay, um, the PLS partial least square structural equation model has experienced a widespread recognition in recent times. So since this study hypothesized uh, directional, so the application of variance-based measure has, has been used uh, to, to test the hypothesis. So um, to carry out the PLSM, there are two stages. The first one, we're looking at the reflective measurement model, which is the outer model. And the second stage is a structural model, the inner model of the, the study model. Okay, a measurement model, uh, what are the criteria a measurement model to be fit? There are three criteria stated here, suggested by Ham. We're looking at the internal consistency, conversion validity, and also discriminant validity. Internal consistency, use the CR values, composite reliability, and the values should less than 0 0.7. And my CR here, less all, CR for all construct less than 7, 0 0.7. And for conversion validity, look at the AVE, average variance extracted, should greater than 0 0.5. So my AVE here, greater than 0 0.5, except the QWL. Hence, um, Fauna and Fauna and Lecker suggest that the construct will match the conversion validity if the AVE is less than 0 0.5 but the CR is above 0 0.6 so it is acceptable for the conversion validity. And for the discriminant validity using the heterotrain um, the value should less than 0 0.5 Eight five threshold that uh, suggested by Hansler and all the values in HTMT here below than 0 0.85. Okay, once the measurement model is fit, uh, we can proceed with the evaluation of structural model and we look at the uh, assessment of collinearity the significance and the relevance of model path. Uh, we're looking at the coefficient determination R square and also we look at the predictive relevant Q2. First, the collinearity statistic uh, were, were measures in terms of the variance inflation factors, VIF here, VIF, uh, to test the multi-collinearity. Okay. The VIF should less than five, suggested by uh, Hare. If the value is less than five, it is indicates that collinearity among the construct of structural model was not at a critical level. So my VIF here is less than five. So they are not in critical. And um, for R square, all the variable, all the variable, resilient social support and quality work, work life uh, represent the 56% on the work engagement and the effect size is moderate. And for Q2, Q2 values uh, represent the predictive relevance. Okay. Uh, predictive relevance is used to test the cross-validated redundancy method. Uh, the value should higher than zero, so higher than zero, 
So it is predictive relevance. And for the hypothesis testing, my, the variable hypothesis one is accepted at 0 0.01, hypothesis two also accepted, but unfortunately, hypothesis three is not accepted. Rejected. So here is the structural model. And for the discussion, the finding of this study broadened the understanding of the research and practitioners by offering the empirical evidence of the study result. So being a cancer survivor is not a reason to be less engaged at work. So the employer should not anticipate the poor outcome of cancer survivors. Cancer survivors who have a positive and immersed in a work as their healthier colleagues. So therefore, this finding, uh, this finding dispel the negative perception uh, towards the cancer survivors that they cannot be as productive as other employees. Looking at the first direct correlation existed between employee resilience and work engagement that supported by Malik and Gap. And cancer survivors in this study can adapt well and are able to steer throughout the challenge times to fulfill the personal and organizational goals. And for hypothesis two, it is positive correlation between social support and work engagement at 0 0.001. And the finding similar to Walter and Kima that agree workplace social support influence the work engagement. Uh, but no significant relationship was found between QWL and work engagement. So hypothesis was accepted. In this study, cancer survivors were engaged at the workplace without depending too much on the quality of the chemo. Okay, for the implication, firstly, the finding of the study contribute to a better understanding of the concept uh, of work engagement, uh, especially in cancer survivors, uh, with a positive research on the influence of resilient social support and uh, resilient and social support towards the engagement. This study does offer a significant implication for human resource development practitioners to develop an arsenal approaches by which to boost the employee resilience and social support to enhance the work engagement. So with that, uh, I thank you. <laughs>